All right, it's happening. It's finally happening. Everybody panic. Satisfactory has just announced they are going into 1.0 this year. Today, we're gonna to talk about the next major release for Satisfactory. And the next major release for Satisfactory is going to be All right, so yeah, no. There's not gonna be any more updates uh, to the game in early access. Uh, this is the year where we finally finish Satisfactory. Yeah, this year, I was not expecting it. Um, I put my hands up, I was wrong. I was wrong. I wasn't expecting it until the start of 2025. I thought we was gonna get update nine this year, which was gonna be like a clean, clean update where we're gonna get like recipe rebalances and all this kind of good stuff and, and no. Not drop the bombers today. That 1.0 is coming this year. Yeah, yeah. So we have a major problem on our hands right now with our current playthrough, and that is, by the time 1.0 comes out, the the way we're currently heading with like I'm sinking a lot of time into this build and these builds and stuff. It's not going to happen for 1.0. It won't get finished for 1.0. So there's one thing I need to do. I need to, you probably already guessed it, I need to stop bottling water because that right there is a big time sink. Um, <laughs> if I want to get this playthrough done for 1.0, I need to, like I said, stop bottling water and just go with the normal water extractors like a normal goddamn pioneer, I guess. Oh, God. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's uh, some breaking news, which, uh, like I said, it totally caught me off guard. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop bottling water. I'm gonna focus on trying to get to end game because I know uh, we, when we released season one of Satisfactory, uh, I cut that short. You know, abruptly, a, a lot of you uh, was curious, like, why did you cut like season one short? And that was because it affected me as a content creator. Like, we had the Twitch save, which was its own save. And then we had a YouTube save because I started YouTube that same year. Uh, no, well, say, well, no, the Twitch save was already running for like a year. And then I started, well, okay, let's work on YouTube content. So I started the YouTube save. Um, and they was both working in parallel with each other. So when I finished streaming after a five hour stream, after, cause I stream five days a week, um, I then finished stream, booted Satisfactory back up to work on it again on another save which made total nonsense uh, when you think of it now. Uh, but back then I was on the grind working on that series, working on the Twitch series. And that's when I come to the decision. I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I need to work on the Twitch series and the YouTube series together. So that's when I was like, okay, we're going to start season two and I'm going to stream the behind the scenes of how I make the episodes. And then I'm going to record them separately. But I create save checkpoints on the Twitch save, which then goes easier for when I do the recordings because I just load up this save. Oh, here's a little building I built earlier. You know, that's why there's some cuts in videos because that's where I save the point on the Twitch stream. And then I load it up here. And then Bob's your uncle, building's complete. And that kind of sort of stuff, right? That's how I kind of work. It works in tandem with each other. And it's, it's so much better, so much better. But yeah, we need to stop bottle of water. <laughs> I need to stop it um, because one point I was coming and I'm, I'm excited. I'm also upset. Uh, 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 it's an emotional thing. Because you got to realize, right, is Satisfactory has made me as a content creator. It's made me go full time. Like doing the YouTube stuff, doing the Twitch stuff. And to think that that could be coming to an end. That's crazy. But, but, as you know, the game's currently in alpha. And because it's in alpha, they're going to be releasing 1.0 as a full package. So there's going to be no experimental branch. But what they're doing instead is they are going to be releasing a closed beta via a sign up link, which I'll put in the description below. Um, some of you might have already signed up and stuff. I think the closed beta is going to be happening within the next couple of months. Um, and it's going to last probably most of the year, I would think, maybe. I don't know how long they want to do a closed beta. They might just do it for like a month long um, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but we will see. Fingers crossed I get access to that closed beta. So if you're watching this, devs, snut, you better give me access. Otherwise, I'll be angry. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. 
<laughs> but yeah, so what we're going to do is go into this description, give that link a click, and uh, go and sign up if you want access to the closed beta. Uh, obviously, the reason it's closed is because they don't want to... Because uh, like, my thoughts was when 1.0 was going to get announced, which wasn't going to be until the end of this year, is they wasn't going to do an experimental branch. I never thought they was going to do an experimental branch with 1.0 um, because it'd be a bit weird doing like they get the whole story and everything with 1.0 and then it coming out again quite a few substantial months later to 1.0, like to full full release. So they're doing a closed beta access. So go and sign up. Uh, I'm not going to stress it enough because I don't want to come down to it in months time where I'm going to get comments going, how did you get this version of the game and stuff? Uh, it, it might be under NDA, so keep that in mind. Um, it might come down to it where I might not be able to even make content on it until it officially releases, which I highly doubt. So I might be able to play with 1.0 off stream uh, and off um, YouTube recordings. And I'll see with what the Coffee Stain team says. Um, if we are allowed to make content on it, but I doubt it because uh, it'd probably be under an NDA. So for those that don't know what an NDA is, non-disclosure agreement means you sign something, you can get in trouble uh, if you leak any information or that kind of stuff. So fingers crossed um, uh, that either I get in and you guys get in as well. But um, I'm excited, but I'm more than likely going to cry when that bloody trailer for 1.0 drops, you know. I'm, I can't wait, but because it, it feels like it's coming like to an end of a journey, if that makes sense. I was made with this game. I know it sounds, sounds quite soppy, but when what Satisfactory released is when I started doing content for it. And now we're at the end point of where like 1.0 is here after many years, the fifth year anniversary as well, which is March 19th this year. I'm excited. And hopefully you guys are too, because there's gonna be a lot of content coming out and now we've got 1.0 coming out i'm definitely going to do a 1.0 playthrough as you know and then i want to do a modded playthrough after that which is going to be uh she's going to be interesting um because uh, i know a lot of these have been wanting like oh, a modded playthrough um yeah so i'm going to leave you there make sure you go to that link sign up and uh without further ado keep smiling Get ready for 1.0 and I'll see you in another video.